In 1992, Japanese heavy industry conglomerate Honda partnered with Mississippi State University, a research institution in Starkville, Mississippi. The project that resulted from this partnership is an experimental aircraft that is truly fascinating to explore. Over a four-year production and testing period that lasted until 1996, the two organizations collaborated to build the Honda MH-02, the world's first business jet designed entirely from carbon composite material. While the aircraft was never intended to reach mass production and, as a result, never did, many things about the MH-02 are fascinating to explore. Despite only a prototype ever being produced, the Honda MH-02 stands as the first all-composite, light business jet to take to the skies. In this video, we'll take a deeper look at the story and features of this undeniably cool aircraft. Here are 5 fun things about the Honda MH-02 you may not have already known. Welcome to our channel, where aviation, private jets and helicopters come in luxury. If you're interested in this kind of content, then this channel is the one for you. Make sure to like this video, click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on our recent uploads. Now, let's get right into the video. 1. An unusual forward swept wing. From just looking at the aircraft, one will first notice some interesting design choices on Honda's part not the least obvious of which is undoubtedly the jet's forward swept wing. This wing, which spanned nearly 36 feet, was bent forward at an angle of almost 12 degrees, a feature very uncommon for both aircraft at the time and now. Forward swept wings are almost never found among the world's most purchased and widely used corporate and executive aircraft. This style of wing provides a difference in maneuverability for aircraft, bringing airflow inwards as it passes over the jet's wings. In certain situations, this allows for advanced air control, such as the ability to maintain full aileron control in the event that an aircraft encounters a loss of lift. There are significant downsides, however, such as an aircraft's higher likelihood to yaw or rotate about its vertical axis. 2. Above-mounted engines While most commercial jets feature engines mounted on pylons beneath the wings, business jets usually feature rear-mounted engines, primarily with one on either side of a T-shaped tail. The Honda MH-02, however, does not abide by either set of norms, featuring a pair of turbofan engines mounted directly above the wings in the center of the aircraft. These turbofan engines were Pratt & Whitney Canada JT-15Ds, which entered the market in 1971 and were rated at about 2,000 pound thrust each. This engine was specifically designed for small jet-powered aircraft and served as a power plant option for business jets, such as the Cessna Citation, I Aerospatial Corvette, and the Hawker 400. 3. A perfect testbed for Honda While the aircraft was never mass-produced and was never intended to be, the MH-02 did serve an essential purpose as a flying testbed for Honda. The company aimed to build the prototype to better understand the effects of aerodynamics and other factors as they relate to carbon composites. Honda began researching the MH-02 project in 1986 and joined forces with the Mississippi State University in 1992 to build and test the aircraft. Throughout its years of operation, the two parties performed 170 hours of flight testing the aircraft, performing in-depth examinations on maneuverability, aerodynamics, stability, and ease of recovery from flutter. All testing complied with the applicable regulations from the FAA for experimental aircraft, even though the jet was never slated for mass production. 4. First All Composite Aircraft during the time in which the MH-02 was being designed and produced, the aviation industry as a whole had done relatively little to explore the possibility of constructing complete fixed-wing commercial aircraft from composite materials. Some projects involving helicopters had been launched, and defence contractors had also examined the material's potential use and application to complete jets, especially within the business jet space. Nevertheless, the team of engineers at Honda and Mississippi State University combined forces to create an innovative aircraft completely designed from composite materials. According to Honda, the jet can be adequately described as follows. The MH-02 is the first all-composite small business jet, using lightweight carbon fiber reinforced epoxy resins in all the structural elements ranging from main and tail wing cross beams and ribs to fuselage frame and other outer panels. Carbon composite materials have become far more common due to their proven advantages in fuel efficiency over other materials, such as aluminium. Aircrafts today, such as the Airbus A350 XWB and the Boeing 787, make widespread use of carbon composite material. 5. A T-tail design Besides its small size and sleek cabin design, the MH-02's tail is another of the plane's key features, defining it as a true business jet. The tail, which reaches a height of nearly 14 feet, 
is T-shaped in order to improve stability and maneuverability. Unsurprisingly, due to the flight benefits of a T-shaped design, most private jets today feature similarly shaped tails. While many of the MH-02's features are not standard among private aircraft, such as a swept wing design or all composite construction, T-shaped tails are found time and time again on all kinds of executive aircraft, from the Gulfstream G550 to the Cessna Citation X. What are your thoughts on the Honda MH-02? Let us know in the comments down below. So whether you're a connoisseur of fine aircraft, or simply intrigued by the heights of luxury, then don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more luxury aviation videos.